my name is Zul and welcome to the 2016 edition of my guide to modding Dragon Age Origins. In today's episode, this is kind of just going to be an introduction, so I'm going to be showing you uh, what version of the game is best to use, I'm going to be showing you how to basically install a mod, and just introducing the series in general. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is what version of Dragon Age Origins uh, you should download. The version that I recommend, because it's the one that is kind of most compatible with modding and most compatible with performance tweaks, is the EA Origins version of the Dragon Age Ultimate Edition. Now, if you, for example, own the Ultimate Edition on Steam, you're in luck because you can just transfer your license over to Origin. You don't have to rebuy the game at all. It just completely transfers everything over. If you have a different version of the game, you can still follow this guide, although not everything is going to work for you. The good part about the Origins Edition is it contains all the DLC and the EA version does not have an encrypted executable, which allows us to do some really cool tweaks later on. Uh, anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, the next thing we need to deal with is how to install mods for the game. And for that, we're going to need a tool, and that tool is DA Modder. Go down to the link in the description to download DA Modder, which is our mod manager of choice, and go to the file section on the Nexus page. From there, you're going to want to hit the download manually button. Uh, we're also going to be using just uh, Skip the Fade. Uh, this is a mod. It's just a test mod. We're not actually going to be using this in our playthrough, unless you want to, I suppose. But this is just going to be our example mod for this video, so go along to the file section and download Skip the Fade manually. Don't download the Skip the Fade manual mod, just this top one here manually. Alright, now that we've gone ahead and downloaded DA Modder and Skip the Fade, we've dragged them to our desktop. From here, we're going to extract them using 7-Zip. If you don't know how to do this, I'll throw a link in the description if I forget and you still aren't sure, leave a comment, I'll figure that out later. Uh, so go ahead and just hit uh, Extract to and then the folder name. And then we have this folder here, which is DA Modder. Uh, from here, you can click on the uh, DA Modder.exe, or if you don't see the .exe, it's the type that's an application to run the program. However, I don't want to run this from my desktop. I like to put this in a bit of a safer location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open file location for Dragon Age Origins. Uh, you can also just manually go there if that's not an option for you. It's in Program Files Origins Dragon Age Bin Ship. I'm going to drag uh, my DA modder folder in here. Uh, you can see it's right there. And then I'm going to hit F2 on Windows. And I'm just going to name this to DA modder. Then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to create a shortcut to my desktop. I'm going to right click on the EXE. I'm going to hit send to and desktop. Uh, so this will create uh, this little icon here that we can go ahead and use to launch DA Modder, which looks something like this. Uh, but this is kind of ugly, you know, you might not want to have that there. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, we can go ahead and download ourselves another mod. For our DA Modder, I like to download custom desktop icons. This step's totally optional, uh, but head on to the uh, Nexus page linked below, go to the file section, download it manually. Uh, from there, you will get an archive, uh, just like these ones here. Uh, you just need to extract it into a folder, and then inside the folder is a whole bunch of icons. You can throw this wherever you want on your computer, I'm just going to store it on my desktop for now. Uh, now that we have those icons downloaded, right click on your DA Modder shortcut, hit Properties, Change Icon, it m might tell you this, that there's no icons there, that would make sense, hit Browse. I'm going to select my desktop. And then I'm going to select Alternate Dragon Age Origins and Awakening icons. Open it up, and then from here, I like to use this little shield right here uh, for DA Modder, so go ahead and click that. OK, and Apply. Good, and then I'm going to hit F2, rename the shortcut. We don't need it to say to shortcut. And there we are. Now we have a shortcut to both the game and DA Modder. Now that we've gotten all that stuff out of the way, uh, you can go ahead and launch DA Modder. I'll quickly explain how it works. First, I'm going to make this a little wider just so that uh, we don't have any text overlapping. Okay, so this is a pretty simple mod manager. Uh, we have our main pane right here. This shows you all of the uh, mods you have. In this case, the official mods or the DLC, of which you will have all of them if you have the Ultimate Edition, are here. You can uncheck this. And I usually leave that unchecked. And then you make sure third party, party mods are checked. There's a tab here to back up and restore your saved games and all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to be covering that right at this second. Uh, so for now, 
Let's go ahead and cover installing our first mod. So when we downloaded Skip the Fade, we got a .zip file. Again, we need to extract this using a 7z. Uh, we can then open it up, and inside it you'll notice there's uh, another folder. It's a skip the fade .dazip. Now anytime it says .dazip, that means it's a Dragon Age mod. You, you can't unzip this with 7z, or if you do, it's not really gonna work. How you install these dazip mods is you drag them, and you just drop them onto your DA modder. They will then give you this little uh, panel right here. It might be underneath some things as it was for me. Asking if you'd like to install the mod, go ahead and hit yes. You can also alternatively hit the install button and then I could go to my desktop and I could look for the mod here manually, but I prefer the drag and drop method. It's just, it's a lot easier. Uh, now that we've done that, looks like everything's been installed properly, but the only way to check is to go ahead and launch the game for ourselves. So let's go ahead and quickly launch Dragon Age Origins just to make sure everything's working. Okay, so our game has been launched now, and as you can see, everything's working properly. In order to check whether or not the mod's installed, click on the downloadable content button, and scroll through your list until you find Skip the Fade, since that's the mod we're using to install, and it looks like it's right here. Click on that mod, make sure all the data is displayed properly, which it is, you know, there isn't anything weird and glitchy looking there, so we know the mod's been installed properly. And that's pretty much it for installing mods for Dragon Age Origins. If you'd like to see more videos like this, if you want me to continue the series, of course, leave a comment. That is my main indicator of whether or not I should pursue videos in the future. Any questions and suggestions can also go in the comment. Otherwise, hit up that subscribe button, check out some of my other series. I do have tutorials on Elder Scrolls games like Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout, Knights of the Old Republic games. Uh, I, I have a ton of different videos out there. You can just go ahead and check out the channel. Uh, until the next time, I've been Zool, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Goodbye. Yeah.